was a grey and cloudy day, as I admired myself in the reflection in the window, looking very handsome, lost in my thoughts, wondering who would bring me lunch and how much work would I have to do. You can only look so handsome for so long without lunch, you know what I mean? I mean, come on, it takes work to look this good. Apparently, the viewers had decided that I would look very handsome in a detective's trench coat. They were absolutely right. I look fantastic. But when was I going to get home? And how? Who would bring me lunch? And what would it be? Could I take a nap in here? Would anyone notice? These were the questions swirling around in my tiny plastic head. When suddenly, I heard a noise from down the hallway. I looked out my window Boy, what's this? to oh see God. what was going on out there, when in rushed these two dames, <laughs> hysterical dames, running in. What is going on here? I don't know. <laughs> Eduardo, wait just a minute. That is not at all how it happened. Not even a little bit. Let's roll back that footage. I do remember some kind of noise when we walked yeah, in. Yeah, it was really strange and loud. What was it again? Hmm. Wow. Yes, that there was it. Is. why you think that's okay. We're never going to get you home if you're not willing to help. Now, let's have a little chat about what we need to do today. We have a case for you. It's an important job. I like important. I'm very important and I'm a very good detective probably. 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 And you are important. I guess. Um, anyway, the job is we have to find some detective books. We have to sniff out some detective books. Ooh, a mystery. I love a good mystery. That sounds right up my alley. So what's in it for me? Uh, what's in it for you? What do you mean what's in it for you? We're not paying you to solve this case. You're not even a real PI. Well, all good detectives get paid for their work. That's part of why we do it. How am I going to afford the, these nice coats? You know how you get paid, Eduardo? You get paid in going home eventually. That's how you get paid. Eventually. Yeah, so what we're saying yeah. is, if you solve this case... If you solve this case... Solve it. And solve it quick and well, and with accuracy and professionalism. Great... Nobility. Yes. All of those things. Then, you'll get closer to going home. Mm -hmm. Which is really, I think, what we all want. Um, yeah, definitely. We're all, we're all in agreement on yes. that, right? Of course, I want to go home. How do I do it? What do we have to? How do I start with this? All right. Well, first, you're gonna have to learn um, how to find books in the catalog. You're gonna have to learn a little bit about our call number system and how to locate books on the shelf. And uh, and then I think you'll be well equipped to track down those books using the clues that we can provide you. That's right. I think finding books in the catalog and then finding them on the shelf is the greatest mystery in the library. You'll find it's not as simple as you think. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, let's, uh, let's get started then. What do I, how do I get started? All right, well, the catalog. Yeah, I think that's a good place to start. That's where everyone's search for library books begins. So uh, let's get you familiar with the catalog. Okay. Are we recording? We're recording. Are we? Is, why am I in a bubble? You're in a bubble so that the the kids can see you, Eduardo. They need right. to see. They love to see your face when you're talking them through a tutorial or something. So a toot. A tutorial. A toot. A toot. A tutorial. Huh? It's tutorial, like tutor, like you're teaching them. But you're I don't teaching know. them how to do something. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'm going to teach you, and this will be a tutorial for you. 
and for the kids. Uh, Isn't that cool? I, sure, yeah. It yeah. Sounds I like that I can see myself on the screen here. Hello, Eduardo. Yeah, you, you look like that. Athenea. Yeah, this you is look, great. You look great. Ooh. Very different. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so mm -hmm. Eduardo. What are we doing? Okay, so we're trying to find some detective books, some mysteries for our kiddos. Uh, mystery. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to do that by searching in the catalog, okay? Okay, great. So uh, let's uh, do the thing. Look at how good I look. You you look Proud. so dashing. You're so dashing. very handsome. Uh, so what's this webs website? Okay. Is that what this is called? A website? Yes, a website. Um, okay. This is the Johnson City Public Library's website. Our website, it's jcpl.org. And uh, this is our homepage. You can see all kinds of cool information here. Um, information about curbside pickup, uh, book bundles, all curbside. curbside. We're not doing curbside. No, no, we? we're not doing curbside again. Okay. I mean, at least not today. Uh, but anyway, so up here, you can search our catalog for books. And uh -huh. it's super easy. Just it always defaults to Johnson City Public Library, but you want to make sure that it says that. And uh, we're okay. going to leave it at all fields because we're just going to search for anything. Um, fields, like outside, like a, a flower field? No, fields or like, a like field? different search fields. Like you can search by author um, or title or subject or things like that. But we're going to just search in everything because sometimes that's a lot easier. And then you can narrow it down. Okay? Uh, sure. You got wow. it? All right. Uh, yes, moving on. Okay. So what are we searching for? All right, we're searching for mysteries. Um, so Aren't we really searching for mysteries? Ah. Yeah. Because I'm a private detective now. You are a detective. So let's look for detective stories. Let's just type in the word detective and uh, let's see what comes up. Exciting. What a mystery. What's going to come up? Oh, oh I, don't I don't know. I don't know. Insect detective. Insect detective. Forensic detective. Okay, so here's what the is deal. What is that? It says ebook. It's an ebook. That means that it's a digital copy that you can get through Reads. That doesn't look library. very family friendly. No, it doesn't. So this is what I want to point out to you. Look at this. 826 pages. Oh my word. Do you want to look through all of that? I mean, I guess that's what a detective does, but I don't. That sounds like a lot of work. I mean, by the time you got done looking through that, your case would be cold, man. We've got to narrow it down. So it'll go a little bit faster, be a little bit more efficient. Okay. Okay. Great. So you said that is very family friendly. We want things that are family friendly, right? Yes. We're looking for the kids. All right. So what we can do is we can come over here to the left hand side where it says audience. There's an audience. I love my audience. Hi guys. You do love audience. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Well, the viewers. Hello. The, the viewers. The viewers. The audience for uh, this search is uh, is kids. So we're gonna click on the box that says juvenile. That narrows it down to just the stuff that's in the kids section okay. of the library. We're going to hit include to make sure that it narrows it down. And look, we're already down to 96 pages. Oh. <laughs> Insect detective. Still it's top fun to say. results, yes. Um, so, but look, that's a movie. <gasps> oh, detective yeah. Pikachu. That turns us some. I like Detective I, I, I like Pokemon. Yeah. Do you like cool. Pokemon? I do. What's cool. your favorite what? Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Psyduck. What's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, I really like Eevee. Eevee's a good one. Yeah. Classic Pokemon. All right. Anyway, uh, so back to detectives. All right. So 96 pages. I mean, do you, well, how do you feel about that, Eduardo? It's a high number, and I do not like doing work. So I do not, in fact, Feel good about that. Well, this is one instance where I'm going to agree with you that uh, oh. the less work, the better. So, uh, you mentioned, oh, we've got a, a movie here, you know, yeah. and, and are we really looking for movies? I mean, I love a movie. We could watch a movie. It's a nice rainy day outside. Yeah, but Perfect for a black and white detective show. Well, that's true, but that's not what the kids asked for. The kids asked for books, right? So did we want to make sure that we're getting just books, they? not these audio discs, not the e-books. Not the movies. We want physical books, okay? So what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here again on the left where it says material type. Material. We're gonna view everything. View it all, but that's view a lot. All. That's a lot, but that's not too much. And we're gonna just click everything that has the word book in it. Book. 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 New paperback book. Yeah, let's try that. Do we? Do we have a lot of paperbacks? No, I think that might be a 
something for a different catalog, but we'll click it since it has the word book in it. So cool. we're leaving out the videos and we're leaving out the audio stuff, okay? If we have to. All right, we're gonna hit include. All right, so that narrows it down to 91, 91 pages uh, of results. That's so many things. Can you think of another way to narrow it down, Eduardo? Uh, what if we only want detective stories? Ooh, that's a great way to narrow it down. So you mean like fiction stories? What? Friction? Fic no, fic I don't care about friction. No, I want no, stories. No, 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 no. Fiction. 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 Fiction means that it's not real. It's a made-up story, right? Oh. Is that what you mean by stories? Yes. Yes. All right. So let's narrow it down by our shelf location. Okay? We're going to view all for the shelf location. Oh, my gosh. This, this is so a lot. Things. This is a lot. But we know that we do not want nonfiction. We right. only want fiction. So There's so much fiction. Let's look at the nonfiction. We're going to check the boxes for the nonfiction. Okay. Okay? And we are going to exclude That those. means we don't like them. That means we don't want them. Yes. So, get away, fiction, non-fiction. Get away, non-fiction. Because we like fiction. We're still down to eighty. Insect detective was fiction. It was fiction, huh? Wow. Interesting. Um, we're down to eighty-eight pages now. I mean, we narrowed it down quite a lot from eight hundred ninety, oh whatever it was. Since insect detective is so consistently at the top, how about we look at that one and just see what it's about? I guess. All right. That sounds fun. Now, the big thing that I always tell the kids and the grown-ups is you've got to click on the title and scroll down. Can you say that, Eduardo? <clears throat> click on the title and scroll down. Excellent. You're learning so much today. I'm so proud of you. I'm a good detective. You are a good detective. I'm probably the best detective. <laughs> well, tell me this, detective. Yes. How can we tell if this book is actually on the shelf in the library? Uh, we could go down and look. We could go down and look, but that's a long way. I don't want to walk. Oh, oh way. what's this? What's this? Over there. What, Do you what, see that? What, what, what is what, it? What are you, what you see? Status. Status. It means status. And it's right here. That's what I said. Status. Good, good, good. And so mm -hmm. it says do. Do. Do what? Do we? Dewey Decimal? Dewey Decimal. We haven't I think we do. Yet. That's what you said. Because it says, uh, do mm -hmm. non-16-20, okay. which was two days ago. That was two days ago. Uh -oh. oh, no. So what does that mean, Eduardo? It means it's late. It's late. <gasps> oh, dear. It's okay, guys. We, we, we are all human except me. I am a plastic dragon. But we're all but, flawed. And you know what? You know, I'm Things flawed. happen. I'm perfect. Okay. Sure anyway, you are. sure you are. So does that mean it's not here now? That means that it is not here now. You are correct. Oh my goodness. That was a brilliant deduction. Thank you, Detective Watson. Uh, so yeah, if there's a due date here, that means that the book is not currently on the shelf. Now you can still place a hold on it. You can click on place a hold, and you can put your library card number in. And whenever it does come back, you can get it. But uh, for right I want now, something now. Yeah, that one's I have fine. to solve this case now, or That's I don't true. get to go That's home. That's true. Can we see some of the newer books, of perhaps? Some of the newer books. Yeah. How let's... do we do that? I don't okay. want to look through all those so books. Let's go. So, what do we do to find a newer book? Okay, so let's go over here where this drop-down menu says "Sort by." And oh, that we're... means that we can sort it. Yeah, we're gonna sort the list. Sort it out. So we're gonna sort it by the publication date, and we want newer things first. So we're gonna sort it. Descending, descending order. Yeah. That means it's going, means down, it's going down, down, down. So the down. new starts first and then it goes down, down, down. Down, down, down. All right. What's, what's going to happen? Uh, everything's going to change. <gasps> yeah. What a good mystery. This is, detective might not be. This is turning out great. All right. So here we go. Ooh. Lots of neat things. <gasps> is this Fabio? I know Fabio. You know Fabio? I know Fabio. He's a great guy. He's a pink flamingo. What do you mean? And I'm a red dragon. You know Fabio. He's a he's a book character. How do you know him? What's that supposed to mean? He's a character. So a am I. Am I any less real, Jennifer? Honestly. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Fabio. So, okay. Fabio. Let's, see, let's see if Fabio's here. Let's see if Fabio's here. <gasps> He's here! He's here! It says oh, under status! You're right! It says that he should be on the juvenile fiction shelves. 
I'm so excited. All right. So uh, how do we find him on the shelves, Eduardo? I yelled, Phobia! No. No. Why not? Because he won't answer. He's... No, there's a very important piece of information here that you can use to find the book. Where is it? Oh, is it a clue? It uh, is, is this, a clue. Is this a clue to solving the mystery? It is a clue. Uh, let can me you see. sniff it out? Mm, it just smells like coffee. Who's drinking coffee? What clue can lead us to this book, Eduardo? Uh, what do you think? Well, when you were telling me uh, about how we decimal here, right, right? you said that there was something called uh, a yell number or uh, mm. a screech number. A call uh, number. Phone call, uh, oh, call number. Call, call number. There it is. It says yes, call right here. number. It says yes. call number. And the call number is like the book's address. It's where it lives on the shelf. So the call number for this book is J James. Do you remember what J stands for? Uh, not James. Is it Johnson City Public Library? Uh, good guess, but no. Uh, juvenile. It stands for juvenile because exactly. it's in the kids' books. Yes, excellent. But so, Fabio's name isn't James. It's Fabio. Well, the author of Fabio's books, his last name is James. Uh, so we put them in order by the author's last name with the J in the front so we know it's a kid's book. But that's not a number. That's not a number. That's true. But the word call number is kind of based around that Dewey Decimal system that we use for nonfiction. But for fiction, it's a lot easier to find things by the author's name. Okay, so we'll find Fabio. All uh, right. Well, what if we did want a nonfiction title? How would we find that? Well, maybe I should do some studying up on some real detectives so that I can get even better, even better. unlikely. You <laughs> know, it's nice to have a goal of improving, Eduardo. Let's X this out right here where we decided we did want location. nonfiction, right? Okay, yeah. and then we're going to come back once it loads and we're going to um, include nonfiction only. But if you look up there, where we have other parameters, you like that word? Parameters. Parameters. Uh, it says material type books. Does that still apply? Yes. That's exciting. So we don't have to change everything. No, we don't have to change everything. You can narrow it down little by little, and you can you can tweak it to get exactly the results oh, that you want. That's exciting. So you know, as long as we're still looking for just books, we can leave this the way it is, and we can leave our audience the same. Uh, so let's see, where am I at shelf location? Okay, so we're going to view our shelf location again, and we're going to click only the nonfiction. Okay. And we're going to include that, and that should narrow it down to just nonfiction. Oh my gosh, look, only five, five pages. pages of results. That's so doable. Even I could look through that. Exactly. So uh, let's go down here and see. Is there anything that uh, you... Wait, go back up. What, what? No, I don't like that. Go down, go down. Okay, okay. Uh, no, no. Oh my goodness. No, keep going. Next page. Next page, okay. I mean, sometimes you have to look at the second page. Oh, what's that? Pinkerton one? Detective. This one? National Detective Agency. That Ooh. sounds promising. That does sound good. All right, let's look. Let's see. When Kate applied for a job with the Pinkerton Agency, Pinkerton assumed she wanted to cook or clean. Well, they were very nice of them. But he agreed to trot her out as an agent. Hmm. Very progressive for the time. Indeed. Assigned to a tough case with high stakes. Oh, this sounds fantastic. Warren went undercover and not only found the stolen money, she got almost all of it returned. Almost all of it. Almost all of it. Did she take the money? Half to the rest. I think we should look for this book. Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? All right, all right. Is it here? Uh, it says JB. What is JB? Oh, JB. So J means what? Juvenile. Juvenile. B stands for biography. Biography. Biography, yes. It's a book biography. about a person, a famous person, maybe a celebrity or a historical figure. Okay. And we is don't... there a book about me? Uh, not yet, Eduardo. I don't think anyone's written a book about you. You could write a book about yourself. That would be an autobiography. Autobiography. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so this is a biography. This is a biography. About detective lady. Right. Women private investigators. And it is shelved under her last name within the juvenile biography section, which is at the oh. very end of our nonfiction shelves. Okay, okay. Okay. And it says, oh, under status, it says it's here. It does. It's in juvenile nonfiction. Right. We could go find this one right now. We I could am go get this so one. excited. And we could go get Fabio. Uh, well... Maybe, uh, should we get more? I feel like I yeah. really want to do a good job solving this case let's, so I can go home soon. Exactly. Yeah, you'll get home soon. Really? Uh, soon, find... Eduardo. What does that mean? Anyway, let's, let's put my regular so, yeah. non-fiction let's just title, Eduardo. One more book. One more book. Um, let's see. What do we have here? What about, um... <gasps> what about poop detectives? detectives? Yeah! I love potty humor. Let's go for poop detectives. What? Is that a dog's nose? That's a dog's nose. I love dogs. See? We're going to love this book. All right. Uh, it's, it describes the job scat detection dogs do, what makes a good scat detection dog. Are you dog, telling me? And the places they work. That dogs can be detectives. Dogs can be detectives. And why are just for like poop. dragons? For poop, yes. Let's do it. Let's is it here? It. All right. Let's see. Is it here? <gasps> Look, it's a number. This it's one's a different. Number. Yeah. What kind of number is this? Do you remember? A uh, call number. It is a call number, but also a. Oh, 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 oh! Uh -huh. They got Drew or uh, uh, Derek or something. You're so close. Oh, Dewey. Dewey, Dewey Decimal. Yeah. Dewey, Dewey Decimal. Do. Exciting. <laughs> so this is a Dewey Decimal number, and that is used to organize our, what kind of books do you remember? Non-fiction. Non-fiction, right, which means it is? Boring? No. That's boring. Are you enough. kidding? Poop detectives? That's oh, not right. boring. It's, it's uh, factual. Factual, right. It's true. It's got real information it's and real true. facts. We All get right. to read about real poop. Real poop and real dogs who investigate poop. All right. So this one is under J636.7. W-A-D, which is the first three letters of the author's last name. And it is here. So it looks like we could go down and get that one, too. Let's do it. Let's go find some books, and then I can go home. Yeah, it's sure. going to be great, guys. I feel, I feel like I'm really, I'm really doing it. I'm a good detective already. And... I'm very happy. Did you guys see my new bow tie? Okay, all right. Eduardo, Eduardo I think Eduardo, you're getting a little you're distracted. You're breathing on the camera, man. Come on. Okay, um, let's let's go find these books. Don't you want to see your friend Fabio? <gasps> Fabio, come on, let's come go. On. Fabio, let's go. Fabio, Fabio. Come on. All right, Eduardo, let's go. We are on the case. That's right, Eduardo. The game is afoot. He should be here. I don't know. I have to keep investigating. Let's go for 636. 636. Seven's over here. Should be right there. It should be there. W. It should be there. Oh, this is really weird. We're gonna have to keep investigating. I don't know. Eduardo, I don't know. Those books should be there. Yeah, it's really weird that they're not. Um, it does happen sometimes. Like sometimes a patron will sneak in and find yeah. the books before. We can pull it. That's true. Someone might be carrying it around somewhere, but there shouldn't be anyone in the library right now. There's no one here. Where's the books? I don't know, Eduardo. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. What is that? What is that? Mm. <gasps> I remember that sound. Candy, Candy Mountain. Mountain. Come on, Eduardo. Let's go. 
Oh, that looks pretty scary. Oh man, I don't know about this. Oh, I hope Fabio solves the mystery. I knew it. I knew I recognized that voice. Why are you reading my books? I need that book. This is ridiculous. How am I supposed to solve a case and go home if I can't find a bus? Well, I, I, we found them. We just have to get them to the patrons now. I what are you even doing here? Mm, I was just looking up some books on detectives. Mm, trying to stay current. <sighs> uh, okay, well, you came through with Eduardo, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Of course, they follow me wherever I go. So now we have this guy to deal with, too. Why don't you put him to work, too, instead of making just me do all the work? Well, maybe, and let's, why don't you and I, we'll take these books and we'll get them checked out to the patron and we'll get them taken over to curbside and, uh, and we'll deal with this guy here in a few minutes, okay? Let's focus on the patron first. All right, fine, let's go. All right. <coughs> oh, don't forget the books. Oh. Thank you. Oh, can I borrow this friend? Thanks. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you. Let me help you get home. Mmm, that'd be great. But you cannot ever tell Eduardo that I helped you. Mm, I don't think that'll be a problem. All right, friend, let's go. Alright friend, we're gonna get you home, don't worry. Any minute now. Oh, here we go again. Hey, what's what's going on in there? Uh nothing. They're they're probably filming for story time or something like that. You know, we're doing all these virtual programs. Well, come on, let's go get these books to the patron. Alright, let's go. Ah. <sighs> So here we are, I've cracked another case all by myself because I'm awesome. Wait a minute, excuse you sir, I helped. Okay, I had some help. Anyway, I was just lying back with in walk these dames again. Eduardo. Well, you did alright, Eduardo. You did. You did, you cracked the case. You solved the mystery. Almost in record time. What do you mean almost? Well, I mean, you know, you haven't had as much practice as some of us have. It finding books, tracking them down, but you did pretty well for a newbie. Did you feel uh, like you really love the thrill of the chase now, Eduardo? Yeah, I could take or leave it. But now I get to go home, right? Because I solved the case. Um, well, that's, um, that's only part of what you're learning here at the library. That's not really uh, how it works, Eduardo. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I think you know what we mean, Eduardo. It's time to let the viewers decide! Oh no! Oh yes! Yes. Yes. What do you mean next episode? Hush. We're working. Alright, our next episode needs a theme as well. Do you want it to be sports or do you want it to be outer space. It's up to you. That's right. Don't forget to vote online. You can comment on our Facebook. You could email us. Send us a carrier pigeon. Whatever you need to do to cast your votes. And parents, don't forget that your vote counts too. Absolutely. We need as many as we can get so we can decide the theme and uh, teach Eduardo a little more about what it's like to work at the library. Oh, this is ridiculous. We know. We will catch y'all next time on Epic, Epic at the Nail!